All right, uh, a little video update on the laser blade. Um, last time I uh, unboxed it and you saw a bunch of parts for it. Uh, in that time, I managed to get it assembled. So uh, this is the uh, this is the product here. Uh, it's the laser guard that just fell. Um, the only problem is uh, I went to uh, initialize it. Uh, I did the homing. Everything worked really well on it. Um, nice smooth operation of the bearings, everything. The only issue I had was with the laser itself. Uh, I couldn't get it focused. Not only that, it doesn't seem to be powering on. Uh, I thought maybe it was a connection issue. I checked the connectors, I checked the board. You know, the laser is actually wired internally so I couldn't see it well enough. Um, couldn't get it to initialize. Couldn't get it to enable with the laser guard or without. Uh, so contacted Darkly Labs, uh, let them know of my issue. And it looks like I might have a faulty laser unit. Now they said out of the 500 or so uh, or more that they shipped, this is the first one with a laser issue. Um, I find that very hard to believe. Uh, Especially, you know, with that kind of, uh, you know, ratio of, of faulty units. I do, however, um, have some issue with that only because uh, I did see that the board itself, the Arduino board that they're using, was quality controlled. However, I didn't see any quality control stickers or markings on the laser PCB um, or the laser itself. So I'm assuming these parts are not being tested prior to being shipped to customers, which is kind of discerning because of the price of this unit. Um, you know, if this is a, a, an off the mill hundred dollar laser, uh, you know, I could see stuff like that, but uh, it's not. Um, it, it's not. You know, it's not a five thousand dollar laser. It's not a ten thousand dollar laser. Um, but it's still, it's not a hundred dollar or even a four hundred dollar Chinese laser. Um, the motors worked really well. Uh, I believe those were QC tested, um, if not by Darkly, um, by the manufacturer of the motors. So, um, proprietary PCBs for the laser blade from Darkly, including the Arduino and the laser PCB, um, uh, may or may not have been tested. I'm assuming the Arduino was. Um, I did see a quality control sticker on it, uh, but uh, you know it is for me. It, yeah, working in the electronics industry, it's it's kind of um, unfortunate uh, to see stuff like that. Uh, another thing too is replacement of the laser unit. Um, now I contacted them the day, two days after I got it when I started assembly. Um, I was out of town and. Uh, I contacted them via their, their forum, uh, which is you know open to all laser blade owners, and they contact me via messenger. Um, another issue I have is the fact that I had to actually buy the new laser unit. Um, not really sure why. Uh, I guess maybe they're a little over cautious. Maybe they just don't have the funds. Maybe it's. I, whatever whatever reason it is, I actually had to pay for the laser unit before they sent it to me as a replacement, and then um, you know they'll uh, they'll refund me once I send it back. Um, I have two issues with that. One, the upfront cost. Uh, it's again, it's not inexpensive to buy the laser unit if there's an issue. Um, and two, I'm out the initial money that I paid for the unit, including the shipping, because they haven't refunded that either and I'm not going to get refunded the cost of my shipping to Australia. Now, I'm in the United States, uh, Southern California, so getting it back to Australia isn't gonna be the cheapest. Um, so, initial cost of the unit, um, I, I got the bigger A4. Um, now the cost of the laser because it's out, and now shipping, and then I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get hit with uh, commercial taxes, from DHL coming from Australia, which I haven't gotten yet, but I'm, uh, I'm assuming it's going to be coming soon. And I think it's about $80, which is another 
um, expense. It's kind of ridiculous. So, all in all, right now, uh, the unit itself, um, it's it's creeping into that that sub thousand dollar unit range, and it's it's uh, you know for uh, for a unit that's supposed to be cost effective and available to everybody, um, it's getting kind of expensive. So. Um, <clears throat> Uh, you know that 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 does uh, kind of affect my feeling toward it right now. Again, uh, if it was cutting, if it was doing something that I could actually see, I might have a different opinion about it. Um, but right now, this is this is the only opinion I have. It may it may be different. I'll give you guys an update as soon as uh, you know as soon as the laser comes in and and um, you know, I'll probably tag it onto the end of this video. Uh, I do want to give some initial impressions of the laser unit, though, as I see it now. Um, the what I'm going to assume is stainless steel rods that the, the carriage assembly rides on. Um, they came in and they were filthy. Um, and I'm not, uh, you know, cutting oil and all that stuff. I'm, I'm well, you know, aware of that, and you know, it, it, it does affect, um, you know, parts. But these weren't dripping in oil. These were just dusty and um, and black and just really gross. I had to uh, I had to clean them um, prior to assembly just to make sure I you know everything was gonna ride smooth on them. Um, and those were actually attached to uh, the sidewalls of the laser blade, the acrylic, and those were also extremely filthy. Now what I'm assuming is you're probably sitting in some warehouse or some packing facility or something um, just getting dirty and just sitting there and dust accumulated, been there for a while maybe, um, and they just had built up this layer of uh, dirt and filth. Um, so I had to clean all that, uh, didn't really enjoy cleaning that, but um, you know, I just wanted to make sure everything was going to be fine. Um, the linear bearings snapped really firmly into the laser assemblies, um, that was really good. The carriage assemblies on the side uh, had uh, bearings already attached, which made things a lot easier. Um, I did now personally um, the printed uh, the the 3D printed parts. Uh, I really like. Uh, I like the look of them. Um, a lot of people don't. A lot of people uh, on the forums and um, you know who have the unit already are talking about polishing them or sanding them. Um, I like the way they look, uh, so I'm gonna leave them as is. Uh, another thing, the aluminum base at the bottom that it came with. Um, was razor sharp and uh, when I say razor sharp I mean uh, if I ran my hand across it I, I would be bleeding it was really that bad um, so I had to actually take uh, sandpaper and uh, smooth out those edges and it wasn't just one side it was probably uh, when it was punch pressed because it looks like it was punch pressed um, it just left a razor sharp edge and <clears throat> again that's probably something that should have been addressed prior to them powder coating it or um, uh, this may have been anodized, but prior to that process, it probably should have been addressed. This uh, it's actually it's actually uh, a bit dangerous, so I had to fix that. The edges are still very jagged; they're actually serrated. Um, again, I think that might have been through the punch process. Um, it's, it's it's really not uh, a clean surface. Again, probably something that should have been addressed at the factory or when it was punched. Um, I'm surprised Darkly even let that go through quality control, um, being so, uh, you know, claiming to be so meticulous. Um, another thing I noticed too is there are four rubber feet on each corner of the laser blade. Now this is the larger unit, and by putting the four rubber feet, uh, they probably elevate the laser blade on the corners about a quarter of an inch, uh, maybe a little less. Um, now what that does though is it creates a bowing effect in the center because it's so heavy and the, the, the metal is actually so heavy even though it's aluminum it's actually going to create a bowing effect in the center um, I'm going to have to compensate for this somehow don't know how yet um, but it's definitely something I will have to address when I get the unit running um, the operation is really smooth everything works really well um, another issue I had and I know a lot of people are coming across it is the actual acrylic I assumed it was laser cut. Um, now, why I assume that I don't know. I assumed that you know that the acrylic was going to be laser cut uh, to to precision specs to fit the unit. I come to find out that it's actually it looks to be CNC machined out. Um, 
Now, why is that a difference? Why does that make a difference? Well, laser cutting, if you were to laser cut the acrylic, it's going to create a polished edge, um, and it's going to make it uh, smoother, it's going to make it more, a little bit more transparent. Um, the CNC cutting process, what it did is it created a kind of a frosted edge, which is, again, not an issue, um, but it also created a very um, sharp 90 degree angle on the edges, which in turn make them razor sharp. I wish I had more to give you on the emblazer. Um, my initial impressions on it, you know, I couldn't cut anything. I couldn't run any programs. So, um, you know, I'm just going off what I saw. I'll give you more updates as uh, as things change, as I get new, uh, as I get the new laser unit for it, so we can actually see what it does. Um, you know, it can run programs. I was able to home it. So this is a functioning unit minus the laser uh, itself. So hopefully by next week, I'll have the laser in place and we can do some real tests on it. Um, but until then, I'm just going off what I've seen. And so far, I'm really not 100% convinced or impressed um, again haven't been able to cut anything so just going off what I've been able to see put together handle and uh, this is just my initial impression so hopefully things will change next week when things come back um, you know hopefully darkly gets on the replacement quickly and the refund quickly and uh, we'll go from there so stay tuned uh, subscribe to my channel to see part two um, of this thing hopefully working, cutting something. All right, have a great one. Bye.